Hello everyone. Welcome back to Banjwada PU College online classes. In the last class, we had discussed about the introduction of organisms and population lesson in that definition of ecology. And after that, levels of organisation we discussed clearly in the last session. Now, in this session, we will discuss organism and its environment. Organism and its Organism and its environment. What is the meaning of this cited thing is organism and its environment means nothing but already I told you that ecology definition ecology means a study of interactions between organism to organism and as well as the interactions between organism and its environment. Here we are discussing how this organism is able to survive in its environment with the interaction uh, with the interactions with the interactions now you can see how this organism is survive in their habitat with the help of the interactions with the environment we'll see here first of all organismic level ecology organismic level ecology ecology means we know is a study ecology means is a study of interactions Organism interactions with the environment we are studying here. Organism level, organism level ecology is essentially called physiological ecology. Physiological ecology. At organism level ecology, we are called it as essentially we are called it as physiological ecology. This is very important bit for the entrance exam. Many times they are given in the NEET and the CET exams. Clear? Now, what is the, one more, one more time I will repeat it, organismic level ecology is called as, or essentially you can call it as physiological ecology. Why it is called as a physiological ecology? The reason is, the organism, when it is interacting with its environment, they are uh, trying to adopting those environmental conditions First of all, they are changing their physiology. That's what it is called as a physiological ecology. Your physiological activities of organism is going to be changing to adapting into the environmental conditions or surrounding conditions. Clear? Now we can see what it tells us. It tries to tell us to understand how different organisms, how different organisms are adopted adopted or adjusted to to their environmental conditions to their environmental conditions in terms of in terms of both survival as well as for their reproduction not only for survival to increase their generations also they are trying to adopt those environmental conditions that is explained by the physiological ecology clear now these organismic level ecology we are called it as physiological ecology this ecology tells us how different organisms are adopting to their environmental conditions for the purpose of survival and reproduction clear right now we will move to the for example if you take an example here to understand this definition Example we are taken here. Example, polar bears. Polar bears possess or contains very important characteristics and traits. Traits means alternatives of genes and uh, the characteristics which are uh, producing due to the changes are happening in the genes. We are called it as traits. That makes the capable that makes the capable whether it is in their specific characters and genetical variations that make them capable of adjusting adjusting with the harsh conditions presented in Antarctica region now yes we know that very well polar bears where it is presented polar bears are mainly presented in a Antarctica regions. Why they are present in Antarctica regions? Because here we are seeing permaposed layer, uh, permaposed soils. Permaposed soils in the sense 
the soil which is covered with the ice clear in this region we are seeing polar bears those polar bears are having a special characters those characters are helpful to them to survive in that conditions clear what are those characters we see now first character one if you take they have thick layers of thick layers of fur thick layers of fur is presented why this thick layer of fur is needed to protect them from cold winds from the cold winds because they are present in antarctica area in antarctica area we are observing ice completely ice covering areas there they need compulsory a thick layer of the skin and thick layer of the fur this is help them to protect help to protect them from the cold winds because it is act as a insulator it act as a insulator we know very well about the insulator if you take a tea flask tea flask having the insulation insulatory property the reason uh, how it is uh, having insulatory property when you put the hot water or hot tea inside the tea flask it will not allow the those hardness to the outside it will not allow the outside cold uh, conditions to the inside the tea flask like as here also this thick layer of the skin or fur which is help help to the polar bear protect from the cold weathers cold weathers are from the cold winds clear now the next character if you see they have waxy coat waxy coat means slippery nature containing coat this waxy coat is help in repelling repelling means for example if you see here when we are putting rain jacket the rain jacket is having slippery nature the rain jacket if you uh, hold it in your hands will feel little bit slippery nature the reason is it repelling repelling means uh, repelling means it is not absorb the water droplets it repel it tell repel it the water and keep their body warm keep their body warm when it is repelling the water the water is not entering into the body of an organism and obviously they are getting protection from the coldness protect from the coldness they maintain the warmness in the body clear right now the next one thus it can be said to that said to that the body of polar bears are well adapted well adjusted or adapted to survive in cold weathers cold weathers are cool weather the reason is to survive in antarctica the organisms are need specific characters such as they have thick fur they need waxy coat these characters the organism which are, which are the organisms are contains they have an ability to survive in the antarctica the remaining organisms why they are not able to survive in antarctica means the reason is they don't have these special features these special features in their body because of that the polar bear body only having the these special characteristic that's what the polar bears are having an ability to survive in that cold climatic condition these all things were explained by the physiological or uh, explained to us the physiological ecology that's what these are all we are observing the changes are happening in the surrounding due to the changes the organism body also changes itself the physiology of the body also going to be changes okay that's what is an example they given in our textbook right now we can see here next one environment next one environment what is mean by the environment here we are seen uh, lastly i told you that to adjusting in their environment what is mean by environment actually what it contains now we can see that definition of environment environment the term environment has been derived from has been derived from a french word it is derived from french word environnia environnia french word environnia what is the meaning of environnia in the french means that is nothing but surround nothing but surrounding nothing but surrounding 
Now we can see the definition of environment. It can be broadly defined as some total of some total of physical, chemical, biological conditions conditions which surrounds the which surrounds and potentially influences an organism or a group of organisms. It means very simply I will tell you that. For example, if you take this is the one place or a particular place if you take. Here we have seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 deals are there. For example, if you take 6 deals are presented. Okay. For example, here in this area we have seen physical conditions. Physical conditions means we know like temperature, water, light, etc. Okay, these are all physical conditions. These physical conditions are there in this area as well as we had seen here physical chemical conditions also. Like uh, we have seen chemical conditions in organic materials, in organic materials, so many chemicals also we are observing in this area. As well as we have seen here biological components, biological components or biological factors. Here you can see the temperature, light, water is the physical conditions and inorganic materials or organic materials are belonging to the chemical substances as well as in that same place we have seen biological things. Biological things means nothing but like a plants or maybe in some other organisms we are seen in this area. Now, these are all the things, whether it is in the physical conditions or maybe in the chemical conditions or maybe in the biological conditions, all these three is influences on the organism's survival. Influences on organism, how it is going to be survived in the nature we are going to be seeing here, that is only we are saying it as environment. Environment means the surrounding conditions of the organism. Here organism is deer. Deer have a surrounding of the deer. What is there? Physical conditions, chemical conditions, biological conditions. These are all together. Sum of all the biological, physical and chemical conditions which are surrounds the organism and influences the organism's life is called as environment. Is called as environment. What is the composition of environment? Components of the environment we can see. Components of the environment is, it contains abiotic components as well as it contains biotic components. What is mean by the abiotic components? Abiotic meaning is non-living things. Non-living things. Biotic meaning is living things. Living things. Living things. Here you can see that abiotic factors, already I told you that some of the factors which are surrounds the organism, those factors are influencing the organism's survival and reproduction, I told you. Like as, here the environment is having abiotic components as well as the biotic components. What are the examples of abiotic components? If you take temperature, water, light, soil, wind, humidity, these all are belonging to the abiotic components. These all are surrounds the organism and influences the organism survival. As well as, here not only abiotic factors influences the organism survival, biotic components also influences the organism's survival. For example, if you take here, pathogens. Pathogens are affect the organism's life. So what is meant by the pathogens? If you see here, pathogens means nothing but the organisms which are having an ability to cause the diseases to the living things. For example, I am the living being, I am getting cold. Cold is caused by the rhinovirus. The rhinovirus is a one of the pathogen which is having an ability to cause the cold to my body. My body. It means I am affecting due to the 
pathogen due to the pathogen my body physiology changes due to the pathogen clear like as predators predators means nothing but enemies enemies also influence the life of an organism and competitors competitors we know very well for example if you observe it in a one area in one area if you see here two deer are there in that area in an area we are seeing two deer clear in the same area if you see two tigers uh, one four tigers you can take in the same area we are observing four tigers at this time the competition is arises between the tigers to eat these two deer clear the competition is arises in the same species to get the same type of the food material same type of the food material the reason is all these tigers are need only the deer as a food material that's what this four tigers are depends upon the two deer it's not sufficient for the four tigers for food material that's what they are the competition is arises between these tigers okay then next one parasites parasites means we know parasites mean the organisms are not having an ability to prepare its own food materials that's what they will depends upon other organisms to get the food materials other organism in the sense host organism they get the food material such are such organisms we can say it as a parasites in detail we discuss in the interactions of the population interactions we discussed in the last concept there we we'll discuss all these things clearly okay now just they given what are the biotic components biotic components mean these all are the biotic components these also influences the organisms life organisms life are you getting clear now understand